Well, hey, 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 pedal people, it's the pedal guy here. Today what we're gonna do is we're going to explore the Cerberus software. Uh, but before we get started, please take a second and click on that subscribe button down there so that you can stay up to date with all of the video content that's on our YouTube channel. And also, if you happen to like this video, please click on the like button. All right, so let's get going on this guy. So the software that comes with the Cerberus enables you to access different parts of the Cerberus that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise if you had it simply just turned on and standing by itself. So from here, you can, you can assign different MIDI parameters. Uh, you can select the different presets. Uh, you can change and uh, you can change the impulse responses. That's probably the most important thing in my book, at least. Uh, for this product and uh, for this video. So what we're gonna do just really quickly is just go through it so you can see what it looks like so that you can download it and check it out on your own time because there's some pretty cool stuff going on here. So the Cerberus, when you first load up the software, it'll be completely blank until you plug in the Cerberus to the computer and turn it on. And then whatever's loaded up in the Cerberus is active, you'll see it immediately right there. So in this case here, we have uh, the different, uh, these are the different modulation pedals uh, that are currently selected. And these are the current uh, reverb and delay pedals that are currently selected. They're not activated, but they're selected. So if I make a selection, if I make a say a move here, like let's say I'm gonna go to the delay section here and change it from the 80s delay. Or there's the, there's the delay right there. Um, so if we go from the 80s delay to the 60s tape echo, then to the uh, 70s uh, delay, it's all there for you. Uh, same thing goes for the reverb. So I can go from the spring to the plate to the hall. Also, if I make adjustments to the routing options, those options are uh, updated in real time. Same thing goes for the uh, chorus and the modulation effects. So I can change the different choruses that I'm using. Uh, and I can change the different modulation effects that I'm using at the same time. Um, now over to the right where we get to the distortion and the overdrive, just turn them on, quite simple. Turn them on, there they are. And currently we're in toggle mode. So as I change between the two, uh, the two uh, uh, pedals, they will reflect in the software. Now, if I start going to the routing up here and I click on the overdrive button, that's where the overdrive is being fed. The overdrive is going into the distortion and then out to the uh, rest of the Cerberus. But I can reverse that and go the other direction simply by uh, lifting up the overdrive button and depressing the distortion button. And now the distortion is being fed into the overdrive and then off to the other effects. Now we explored this in great detail uh, in an earlier video, so definitely make sure that you check that out. Um, and also, just like before, uh, if you uh, select both buttons at the same time, you go into what's called parallel mode, where both uh, the distortion and the uh, overdrive are being used simultaneously, um, but individually, and then they're summed up here and then sent off to the, the rest of the service. So for the time being, we're just gonna stick with just the overdrive because that's all we really need here because what I want to show you also here a couple of other things uh, the presets if you want to access the presets just press and hold uh, to go into preset mode and there are all the presets for you and you also have tap tempo built in here and you can also change the MIDI but I think what's really important here and what I definitely want to show you are the impulse responses because they're over here to the far right and to just review very briefly what the impulse responses do uh, impulse response is a uh, recording or a capture or a sample, if you will, of a speaker um, and that way, or it can actually be a room too. There's also a way to record the acoustic qualities of a room if you want to and use that as an impulse response. But the reality is uh, the impulse response in this case for the Cerberus is simply used to make it sound like your Cerberus is going through a full on cabinet. So to give you an example of why you want it to sound like that, you turn off the cabinet switch here. Let me just turn my guitar up. Okay, it doesn't sound so good because it's going through uh, without any cabinet sound at all. Now, if this was going off to an amplifier, that would be fine. But if we're gonna be recording, you probably want that cabinet sound. So turn on the cabinet and here's what you get. Right? 
So pretty easy sound to work with. But the cool thing here is that you can load any other types of, of uh, impulse responses into the Cerberus simply by going to the drop down menu here, clicking on it, and here are all of the different, uh, here are the eight different uh, impulse responses that are included with the Cerberus. Uh, there are tons of free and paid ones out there on the market that you can get to. So you probably want to put on a good pair of headphones and listen carefully to the sounds here because it's almost minute in some ways, but there are sizable differences. And you can actually hear it as we're making adjustments. So if I go in here and I change it from the, uh, from the, uh, the V412, which is a 412 cabinet, to a JZ120, which I'm probably going to... I'm going to assume is probably a uh, jazz chorus. So let me play that. And what you're going to hear is you're going to hear a little bit of a hiccup as it's changing from this impulse response to this impulse response. So let's try that. So it's got a, it got a little more brittle there, didn't it? Um, Let's go back to that other one. So again. So that makes a pretty big difference there. But when we go to the other ones, like let's say we go to this 112 cabinet. So I'm gonna play that chord again. These are just ways to use those different, those different impulse responses. And then you can start using the effects. So let's turn on that modulation. So the point is, is that the Cerberus software can really make your experience with the Cerberus that much better. And it's not that hard to get into. It's quite easy to use, in fact. Um, but you want to make sure of a couple things. One, you update the firmware, and we did a video on how to do that. So you want to update the firmware on the servers to make sure that you're up to the latest and greatest version of the software. Um, and then from there, you can turn on the, uh, you can launch the software and make sure that the Cerberus is plugged in. And from there, you can make all the adjustments you want to. So it's a pretty straightforward process, actually. And uh, for more information on this, just you can visit us at thepedalguide.com. Uh, also, take a second to subscribe to our YouTube channel and please follow us on Facebook. And if you happen to like this video, take a second and click on that like button. Thanks and have a great day.